maybe we can get somebody to sponsor our new feature. Maybe this could be sponsored by like Depends or Milk of Magnesia. It's Who Pooped the Bed? I, yeah, I guess Charmin's wouldn't work because of the Char- whole bed end of it. The whole bed thing. Yeah. You don't really keep it in the bed. But I, I've decided on a recurring weekly basis, beginning with this week and possibly even continuing next week if I think of somebody else. <laughs> I'm just, I, who did the dumbest thing? to hurt their own self this past week who did the the just thing that you could have foreseen not to do that hurt your own business your own cause etc i'm sure that the trump administration will figure heavily in this program going forward but this week the first week uh, the uh, university of louisville cardinals have been edged out jesus christ hit a fucking free throw don't blow a fucking lead guys The NCAA tournament ended for me early this year. But anyway, they've been edged out by the horrible, the atrocious, the stench of grisly death inducing public relations that the new owners of Impact Wrestling, the Anthem folks, have gotten in the last week. Could you have figured out a way to make a bigger splash with the wrestling fans than the suit or documents or whatever the fuck the technical terms are. You have a pre-law background. Yeah, at least there was like a couple week grace period with Jim Hurd before everyone realized he was a fucking maniac. Hey, I didn't even, it was like three months before I even knew he was fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they just come in to make a splash. <laughs> they certainly have. Uh, I'll repeat what I said last week. Fuck those guys. Well, it's hashtag fuck that owl. Yes. And also, and you can get the t-shirt, I understand, from, from Rebby Hardy. Um, but once again, I just, I, it's hard for me to even, I, I was rooting for them and, and Anthem, of course, the parent company, the fight network, I've told the story in the past. I was trying to get ring of honor wrestling five years ago on the fight network in Canada and had meetings, uh, tentatively arranged with people, but I couldn't get nobody in Sinclair to, to actually be there on that day and be in the office and get on the phone. And they were worried they'd piss off the Buffalo station, but now they own what is effectively the number three wrestling company in the country these days, next to ring of honor. And, and, and Jeff and Dutch have come back and a bunch of the old uh, guard have come back that were running the company when it actually started turning a profit right before Dixie made all the wrong decisions. And they at least could have been given a chance in people's minds to, to do some positive things. But instead they're all known now by the people that are suing the fucking Hardys, trying to take away their gimmick. That is them that they created. That is, as we talked about last week on the program, where does Matt Hardy end and broken Matt Hardy begin? Where does Ric Flair, Richard Fleer end and nature boy, Ric Flair begin? You can't fucking, you know, and the greatest gimmick in the world, once again, is not any good unless the right guy's doing it. I give you the example of the Undertaker. Imagine somebody else is being the Undertaker. So my advice to the first week's winners of the Who Pooped the Bed Award is Anthem. Drop this. Come on, guys. For fuck's sake, pull a Heyman. Remember, remember when, when ECW used to do like, it set some fan on fire or they do something fucking horrible that people just they crucified people and Kurt Angle got hot or whatever. Heyman would come out and cut a big speech and talk about how, boy, they did a dumb fucking thing and they fucked up, made an ill-advised move, whatever. What were we thinking by the time Heyman got finished? Of course, here's the problem. They don't have Heyman, but by the time that Heyman got finished, People would be going, well, I love that, Paul. You know, he he certainly won't ever do that again. And just change your mind, guys, and go on and let the fans get over it and start to possibly like you and, and like the product and at least have a little respect for you instead of being noted as the fucking guy that – or the, the company that, that persecuted their most well-known and popular talent, for fuck's sake. Yeah, and you know, the other thing, which is just the height of stupidity, which seems to be a trait uh, that that we're noticing here, is beyond the whole situation with the Hardys, and I'm certainly 100% on the side of Matt Hardy and his family when it comes to this, they screwed Ring of Honor 
when they contacted all the cable companies and got, I believe, Dish Network, was it? or Direct Yes, TV? yeah, I, th- I think it was Dish. I believe it was Dish. They got Dish to drop the Ring of Honor pay-per-view because they were making these idle threats. And Ring of Honor, from the best of my knowledge, is on the Fight Network, which is owned by... Yes, Amazon. yes. They, they finally, actually, finally, that prophecy came true, and they did that last year and started carrying the program on the Fight Network in Canada. So Anthem not only made that move to fuck some of the boys, the talent, but they also fucked a company that produces a television program that they air on their network and that's quite popular. And when you think about it, let's extrapolate a little further. They obviously, I'm sure Ring of Honor was not happy about this. So relations may be frosty in terms of being able if it if a if a TNA the size of it and a Ring of Honor the size of it are run properly, and they worked together, they could give talent an alternative to the WWE. That's exactly right. But now these fucking guys have just sabotaged something like that because who wants to deal with a company that just got your fucking pay per view fifteen percent of your pay per view yanked off the air? And as, as a result of that, the fans then. I guarantee you they weren't going to do hundreds of thousands of buys on Dish Network, but the fans that did want to buy Ring of Honor's pay-per-view on on Dish Network are going to be loud and pissed about it, and they're going to be incensed, and they're not going to be appreciative of Anthem doing that. So I don't – I just – who pooped to bed? Maybe maybe we should have the cult vote every week on Twitter about who who pooped the bed the worst – the in the past week i guess we'd need nominees to put in there well i think everybody should just throw up whatever they want and that way and 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 but for heaven's sake make it something really spectacularly stupid like the move that we were just talking about that <laughs> when you said who pooped the bed the answer was an owl an owl pooped the bed an owl poop is stinky poop too everybody knows that that owl poop stinks like shit <laughs> 